So my wife and I paid off our mortgage about a year ago, and in today's video, I wanna share with you guys three of the best strategies to help you pay your mortgage off faster. This video is gonna be short, sweet, right to the point, so if you find value in today's video, if you could please just hit that like button, that does really help out the video and the overall channel. Let's jump right into this thing. So the first best strategy on today's list to help you pay off your mortgage faster is to actually invest those extra mortgage payments. Now, let me explain this really quick. My wife and I did not do this whenever we were paying off the mortgage because, well, I honestly didn't really think of it, but I really do like this idea. Now, basically how this would work is you would go open up a taxable brokerage account with any broker that you like. But once you open up that taxable brokerage account, instead of putting all of those extra payments that you would be paying towards principal, what you do is you actually turn around and place that money into that taxable brokerage account. And then you can invest those earnings. And you may be asking what to invest that money into. In my opinion, the best thing you could put the money into is a simple index fund that tracks the market, something like VOO or VTI. And then every single week or every single month, whenever you have the extra money that you are going to apply towards the principal of the mortgage, you would turn around and put that money into the taxable brokerage account and invest it into VTI or VOO by buying shares in those ETFs. Now, over the time, this taxable brokerage account is going to build up. And instead of putting the money towards your principal and just letting that money sit in the walls of your home, not being able to do anything with it, now you actually have access to the capital and you can also put the money in this brokerage account and let the money grow over time. Now, if you're pretty close to paying off your mortgage within maybe one to two years, this may not be the best strategy because as we know right now, the stock market is volatile and there are ups and downs in the stock market. But historically, the stock market does have an average return of eight to 10%. So if you plan on paying off your mortgage early, but you know it's gonna take you more than maybe four to five years, then this may be a pretty decent strategy to take on. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some risks with the strategy. As I just mentioned, the stock market is volatile and it can go up and down. Just because the historical average is eight to 10%, does not mean that is what the stock market is going to do over the future next couple years or so. So please keep that in mind because that is something you need to understand before you go out and use the strategy. So another cool part about this strategy is as you're putting those extra mortgage payments into the taxable brokerage account, instead of it applying to the principal of the mortgage, you do have the chance of that money to grow over time as well. So if you're not going to pay your mortgage off for another five to 10 years, you have a potential five to 10 years of growth on your money, which in return, as that money grows, you could actually pay your mortgage off faster than if you would pay it off by doing it the old fashioned route, but just applying extra payments to the mortgage. Now, before we get into that second strategy, I do have a quick message from today's video sponsor, BlockFi. Guys, BlockFi is the easiest place to buy, sell, and earn cryptocurrency. Now, this is my actual BlockFi account where I choose to purchase and store a lot of my cryptocurrencies because the cool part about BlockFi is that earning potential you have from keeping your cryptocurrencies that you own here on the platform. For example, you can earn up to 9.25% APY with the BlockFi interest account, which is what you're looking at right here. Now the interest is paid monthly. As you can see right here, my total occurred interest for the month is $5.14. Now guys, this is true passive income. And as you can see right here, the total interest that's been paid out to me from BlockFi is $145.97 just for lending out my Bitcoin here using BlockFi. Another great feature with BlockFi is you can now buy crypto instantly with their ACH transfers. If we happen to see some major swings in the market or there's a recent dip that happened in Bitcoin and you want to take advantage of that, well, you can now transfer that money instantly with the ACH transfers from BlockFi. Guys, if you're interested in signing up for BlockFi, you could earn up to $250 in free Bitcoin by using my link down below in the description. I'll have a pinned comment as well. Okay, so let's get into the second strategy on today's video, and this is the one that my wife and I use to help us pay off our mortgage early. Now, I kind of already mentioned this a little bit in the first strategy, but this is basically applying massive amounts of payments towards your mortgage every single month. Now, the important thing to remember here is, when you are applying these extra payments to your mortgage, make sure you are applying it only towards the principal. Sometimes when you apply extra payments, the bank may think that you're applying those for future payments. You do not want that. You want to be able to apply those payments to directly towards your principal to pay off that mortgage faster. Now this strategy is really super basic and there's not much to explain here. You are basically taking the extra money that you have every single month and applying it directly towards that principal to get that mortgage loan paid off that much faster. Now, like I said, this is what my wife and I did. And honestly, we really didn't have a big strategy here. 
anytime I had extra money sitting in the account or if I had some extra money sitting in our money market savings account where I choose to keep our cash, I would take that money out and I would apply it towards the principal because it made me feel good seeing that account balance go down every single month. Now, if I would go back and do things a little different, we happened to pay our mortgage off pretty quickly, but if I would have had to wait a little longer, I probably would have went with the first strategy, and that's why I put this first in the video. You can determine which strategy works best for you, but if I would go back, I would probably invest the money until I had that balance in full to apply that towards the mortgage. Now the third strategy here on today's list is for those that may not be as intense on wanting to get that mortgage paid off super fast. Yes, you may not wanna wait the full 15 or 30 years to pay your mortgage off, but you also may not wanna spend all of your money that you have extra after investing and paying the bills and whatever it may be to go towards the mortgage. And that strategy on today's list is making bi-weekly payments. Now, simply how this works is you split your monthly mortgage payment in half and you make payments every two weeks. So for an example, if you had a mortgage payment that was $1,000 every single month, the first part of that month you'd pay $500 and the second payment you would pay another $500 to equal up to that total $1,000 mortgage payment. Now, if you do this every single month, by the end of the year, you would have made an equivalent of 13 mortgage payments on your loan. Now, if you wanted to make it a little easier on you and not have to make double payments every single month, if you can just find a time within the year to make an extra mortgage payment to apply towards the principal, then this could actually shave off of five to six years if you have a 30-year mortgage. And then if you have a 15-year mortgage, this could shave up to one to three years off of your 15-year mortgage loan. Now, again, this is all dependent on the interest rate and the amount of the loan that you have. So guys, that is it. Those are the three best strategies for paying off your mortgage early. Like I mentioned earlier, my wife and I went with the second strategy because we didn't have a long time period until we knew we would be able to pay off the mortgage, but if I could go back and if I had a longer time period to have to pay that mortgage off, I would definitely probably be going with that first strategy, which is investing the money up until that balance is met to completely pay off the mortgage balance. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it and got some value from it, if you could please hit that like button. That really does help out the video and the overall channel. Again, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And until next video, you all take care.